Hello everyone, Liav is here. Uh, I want to introduce you the new Tiny Timer ver version number 1.1. .1. Well, it looks the same because the hardware is exactly the same, but I upgrade the software according to your requests. Uh, so I improve the user experience. Uh, for example, uh, many people ask me they want to start the flight with a long press and not a short press to be absolutely sure they can delay the flight. So uh, first it's slipping right now so I wake it up and now it, the, LED, the red LED blinks one time per second so it's in standby mode like before. This didn't, I didn't change it. Long press until both LEDs are blinking, that means when I leave it, it will start to fly. And after 20 seconds, it's supposed to move the servo. Well, I cancel the flight with a, another long press. Now we are in standby mode. So if I made a short press like before, nothing happened. Okay, so if you accidentally push the button, uh, nothing happens. So you, it's more safe than before. Uh, if someone wants the older version, I can make it too. I didn't uh, delete it. Well, another key feature is the programming menu. Um, if I want to enter the programming menu, uh, instead of holding in long press like now, uh, like before, I need to make a, a three fast cl clicks like this. And just refocus it. Okay, one, two, three. Now you can see the red LED is fading in and fading out. But not like before, it stays on the red. It's not moving to the blue. So you don't have to be synced with the timer like before. If you accidentally miss the red and it's moved to the blue, now it's only on the red right now. The red is the configuration menu if you want to change the servo position or to change to Nichrome. And if I want to change the times, I need to go to the blue menu. How do I do it? With a short press, like this. You can see now it's on the blue. So we are not in the blue yet but we can select the blue right now when the blue is fading in and fading out. And if I press again, short press, it's moving to the red. So this is the select menu. It's not the actual menu that will make the function that I want to do. If I want to enter one of them, all I need to do is to long press while the, exact, this, the LED that I want is representing the menu is on. For example, now the red is and fading in, fading out, long press will enter me to the configuration menu of their servo position or the Nichrome. So long press and now I leave it. Now both LEDs are on like this. This is, means that we are in the configuration menu. Now when I press it will change or the servo position or the Nichrome. So now you need to be careful because if I'll press it and it try to move the server to other position and instead of server and Nichrome is connected, the, ni the Nichrome will burn out. So this is uh, the improvement, not like the other uh, earlier version of the timer that accidentally if you push the button short press you can burn the Nichrome. Now you need to know what you're doing in order to burn the Nichrome. So uh, uh, be careful but it's it's difficult to make uh, mistakes much more difficult than before. So let's see what happens if I make a short press. Several moves. If the Nikon was connected right now, it, will, it, it was supposed to burn out. So it's not good. So uh, if you're using a, a, a Nikon plug, you should disconnect it before you change, you change anything here. But once you want a Nikon, just do it without the Nikon is connected and then you can connect it and never go to this menu again unless you want to change to a servo. So another another one, this is the Nikon when they both are blinks fast and another one is change the servo to the other position. Well, uh, if I want to save, I need to sh a long press and it will save the last uh, configuration.
and we are back in standby menu. So let's go back to the program menu again. Three fast clicks. Okay, now if I want to change times, I click once to move to the blue menu. And then long press to select it. And now it's exactly like before. The red is for the minutes and the blue is for 10 seconds. So if I want zero minutes, I will just long press instead of counting minutes because this is start from zero. And now this is for seconds. I want 10 seconds, so I click once. And if I want to save, long press and done. Well, last, uh, last thing that I, I want to mention, uh, let's go back to the programming menu. If I want to exit from programming menu and not select any menu like I did before, all I need to do is to press again three fast clicks. Okay, faster than that. Okay, and now we are back in the in the standby mode. The clicks should be three clicks in one second. So if I made one second and point a little bit more, it won't come back and I would need to make it faster. And well, accept it. The timer is works exactly the same like before. The user experience is better in regarding to the uh, start the flight and the programming menu, which is safer and easier. And uh, the risk of burning the nichrome uh, are uh, are much worse like than before. You need to know what you're doing, of course, uh, and to not burn your nichrome. Uh, hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like my Facebook page, Liav's Electronic Projects in Facebook, search for it. And if you have any other requests, please comment in Facebook or here in YouTube. And thank you for watching.